Why slurp matcha? One, to tell the host you're done drinking without speaking. Two, to clean the bowl as much as possible. At a tea ceremony, the guests will slurp the last sip of matcha, making a big sound. Why would they do this? Doesn't it sound a little bit rude? The four kanji idiom that represents the principle of tea ceremony is wa ke se jak. The purpose of tea ceremony is to refine a spirit by feeling the nature and becoming a part of it. So we avoid useless conversation and all listen to the sounds of nature. After drinking the tea, the bowl must be returned to the host. But if you say, hi, I'm done drinking, out loud, it will ruin the atmosphere. By making the common sound of sipping the tea, you can let the host know that you're done drinking. Next, the guests should drink the matcha as cleanly as possible because they'll have a chance to flip over and see the beautiful tea bowls. You of course need to avoid matcha dripping on the floor.